I've campaigned on this issue for a long time. It's something that I found personally very difficult to carry. Um, I exposed the Iraq historical allegations team, the way that carried on. The government has had many, many opportunities. Sometimes doing nothing is a choice. And then we've had this incident with um, the Whips office where they've essentially tried to blackmail me into voting for some of their uh, policies. And, and when things like that happen, you... You know, you sort of sit up and think, where do my priorities lie? It's been going on for some time. I've done everything I could to expose what's gone on. The government have repeatedly on your programme, on many other outlets in the House of Commons, said that they were going to uh, do something on this. The reality is, I'm afraid, this continues day to day. Um, and a number of events have come together over the last uh, few days, the last week or so, um, and, and has made me think about uh, uh, where my priorities should lie on this. Party. I'm proud to be part of the Conservative Party. I think it's very clear that the Conservative Party is, is changing into something um, that it wasn't when, when I joined in, uh, in 2015, and, and that's a real concern. But I'm going to stay and fight for it. I believe in a modern Conservative Party, uh, and a modern Conservative Party, I'll tell you now, will get things like this right. Um, this isn't just about Northern Ireland. This isn't about a particular individual. You've seen the work I've done on the Iraq historical allegations team. Um, this is about a, a, a flaw in our system in this country uh, that means our veterans get treated in an appalling way uh, with which I'm simply not prepared to put up with anyone. In the last uh, week or so, far too many lines have been crossed. And if you, if, you, you know, if you don't stand up for anything, I don't think there's any point coming here. So that is my view. I'm happy to take uh, the criticism uh, that no doubt will come for it. But um, you know, I came into politics for people who haven't had their voices heard for a long time, I'm afraid, and uh, I make no apology for standing up for them.